U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris, the Democratic presidential nominee, spoke to reporters on Sunday at Joint Base Andrews, Maryland. Harris was returning to the Washington, D.C. area from New York. Vice President Kamala Harris raised $27 million at a packed New York City fundraiser on Sunday, her largest fundraising haul since she took over at the top of the ticket from President Joe Biden, according to a Harris campaign aide. Though Harris has far more money than former President Donald Trump, the money will be needed to compete with pricey advertising by deep-pocketed outside groups that support Trump, said the aide, who spoke on condition of anonymity to discuss private fundraising details. The blockbuster fundraiser was held at Cipriani Wall Street in a massive Greek revival ballroom with over a dozen columns. Much of the crowd stood shoulder to shoulder as Harris needled Trump for refusing to debate her again. There's more to talk about and the voters of America deserve to hear the conversations I think we should be having on substance, on issues, on policy, Harris told reporters after landing outside Washington. Trump has rejected more debates, saying Saturday that, it's just too late. Harris also said she would deliver a speech Wednesday outlining her economic vision, saying there is, more we can do to invest in the aspirations and ambitions of the American people while addressing the challenges they face. She cited the high cost of home ownership and stubbornly high grocery bills as examples. like another debate, so I'm hoping the former vice president will agree to that. But we have a lot more to discuss. You, you raised $27 million from this fundraiser. That's the largest since you raised, um, since you were at the top of the ticket. That's a lot of money. How are you feeling about that? It, well, it's, it's showing that there's a lot of support for our message and, and what we need to do in terms of you know, moving forward and charting a new way forward and dispensing with all of the attempts to divide our country and and to just, you know, really, I, the, the problem I think on the other side is that there is a, a devaluation of who the American people are. I just don't really understand that we've got a lot of good people in our country who want to work hard and do well and want a leader who believes that we are, you know, in this together. And I do. Are you giving an economic speech this week? Yes. Yeah. Can you tell us anything about what that's going to be about in the preview? So I'm going to be giving a speech this week that is uh, really to, to outline my vision for the economy. As you've heard me talk about, I believe in what we can create in terms of opportunity for the American people. I've named it an opportunity economy, which really, uh, in short form, is about what we can do more to invest in the aspirations, the ambitions, and the dreams of the American people while addressing the challenges that they face, whether it be the high price of groceries or the difficulty in being able to acquire home ownership because for a number of reasons, including we don't have enough housing supply. Will the care economy be part of this? I will touch on it for sure. Yeah. Donald Trump, as he's called for a second presidential debate, I know you told your donors, but she's looking for any excuse or reason not to. So what's the message? Join me on the debate stage. Let's have another debate. There's more to talk about, and the voters of America deserve uh, to hear the conversations that I think we should be having on substance, on issues, on policies. What's your plan? What's my plan? And um, and we should have another one before Election Day. So thank you all. Thank you. Thank you.